guys, we're gonna do a bump date, but I'm gonna combine week 12 and week 13. Because right now, I'm 12 weeks and 6 days, so tomorrow I'll just be 13 weeks. Because I procrastinated and procrastinated, so I think from here on out, I'm going to start combining weeks. So like this week, I'll do week 12 and 13, mm -hmm. and then next time will be week 14, 15, and so on. Because um, there's just not a whole lot going on. Um, basically, just the same thing. So, But this time, I have Noah with me. So now that I'm starting a new trimester, I'm going to have him here. He's going to give us like the man's point of view of the, how the first trimester went and then I'll do the same thing with second and third trimester. So you guys get to hear everything that he's had to put up with. I'll do the same thing that I always do. I'm going to open up the video with what my baby center app has to say about what the baby is doing in my belly. For week 12. Um, was basically all the reflexes were developing. So like his hands can open and close, his toes can curl, his face can make, you know, shapes and it can react to certain things. Um, so that was honestly the main thing for week 12. Um, week 13, his, his or hers fingerprints on the fingers are, are fully formed. So now he has fingerprints. He's got like an identity, guys. Um, it has an identity. It. And then the veins and organs are visible through its skin because it's so thin. Um, baby's body is starting to catch up with its oversized head. Um, head. And it says if the baby's a girl, she already has over 2 million eggs in her ovaries, which is crazy. Um, it says baby is now almost three inches, about the size of a plum or a pea pod, and weighs nearly an ounce. Dang. It's so big. So, for my symptoms, um, I think, I'm really hoping that nauseousness is making its way out. I'm just trying to get better at eating. The whole eating thing has been so hard for me, because, like, when I'm so nauseous, like, I don't want to eat anything. But, like, I know that's why I'm nauseous, is because I'm hungry. But, um... But today is our anniversary, so today's, Yay, us. today's been pretty good. I think I've gagged like twice, but I haven't puked or anything. I've been trying to eat when we went out to dinner, and I, I was fine. A little bit nervous about going out to dinner, but once I ate something, like I, I was fine. Like I feel really good right now for being 13 weeks tomorrow. I feel great right this second. But that's, that's not to say that I'll, I'll probably feel like crap first thing in the morning going back to work and all. So, um... I've been getting really lightheaded, getting like a bunch of dizzy spells. The other day, I didn't drink as much water as I should have. It just wasn't in my head because I was kind of busy. Um, so I just didn't think much of it. And by the time I was done with my day, like I was so dizzy. I even told Noah, I was like, I feel like I'm drunk right now. Because I was like <laughs> wobbling around the house, falling over. I was like, oh my god, I need to just go lay down. And then I've been feeling... Like a little tiny bit of movement, I think. I still can't tell if it's just gas or it's just like me having like bowel issues or if it really is the baby. I can't tell yet and I'm so excited. Like I really want it to be the baby but I just don't know yet. It's not very obvious to me just yet. I'll get like a little twitching feeling down there and I'm like, oh, I think the baby's moving. But I can't tell yet. Um, what else? Um, I've been complaining about some stretching pains like I can definitely feel that my uterus is stretching and that all of my organs are like moving and like I can just I can tell that something is different about this area like if I poke out my belly like it's not it's not excruciating by any means but it's tender like I can definitely tell like it's all like stretching pains like it feels stretched from like the inside not so much from the outside yet but I don't know um so that's basically it as far as symptoms I guess dizziness is kind of new still kind of dealing with constipation and some painful gas bubbles in my stomach <laughs> and morning sickness is hopefully pray to god that it's making its way out it's been over a month now of me not feeling good and being nauseous or nauseous and sick Noah had the flu yesterday and I was like imagine having that for like a month straight. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, anyway, so I would love to hear what Noah is going to say about the first trimester. She pretty much covered it all in her non-stop speech. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I think the hardest part for me has been seeing her feel so sick and out of it and just tired all the time. Just not the same that she usually is. And plus, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of puking, hearing it, or seeing it, or smelling it, or any of that. So it's been going on all over the house. So I, I can't get away from it. Our house is very I can at least contain big. it in my bowl. <laughs> no, yeah, she does good. It's not like she's just puking on everything. But, <laughs> but yeah, you hear some hardcore gagging, and sometimes I'm like, <laughs> well, sometimes, like, I gag so hard that it hurts my stomach. Yeah. Like, all the pressure from, like, ugh. Well, and obviously, too, you know, I think it's a little harder being the guy in the situation because you always want to fix it and you can't. And especially, you know, for me personally, I'm always stressed out, worried if she's okay, if the baby's okay. Is that normal? Is this normal? And I think, honestly, you know, I've done pretty good. If anything, I've probably been more of a reassurance for you, mm -hmm. even though I've been faking it. Just been like, yeah, yeah it's normal. Yeah. You know, Google, is this normal? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, no, it's been going good so far. I love, what I love about this Baby Center app is, like, if I'm curious about something or worried about something, like, I can go on Baby Center and you can go on, like, all the birth clubs um, and all the different, like, there's so many different moms that use this same app and, like, they, they write different forums. So, like, one mom could be freaking out about a miscarriage and you can go on her forum and comment. And that's just one example. Like, people comment about everything, even outside of pregnancy. But, like, it's kind of cool to, like, go through all the different forums and comment and stuff like that and also leave your own um, questions and answers and stuff like that also so that's been kind of cool for me it's also nice that my midwife is just a text away and she's pretty good at responding yep. um, pretty quickly so that's been a plus so I don't think it like this definitely isn't a high-risk pregnancy um, no. I don't feel like we have much to worry about I haven't really had any like major cravings either like I have to have this now I've had I've been made, going through pickles like crazy. I've been but going that's through pickles normal. like crazy. I guess that is a major thing. Like like I have to have pickles cuz like when I'm so hungry, like I'm just so nauseous. Like if I can just like nibble like if I can just eat a pickle, like it'll kind of get rid of like that like scrape the surface of the nauseousness. The yeah, and then and then like I feel like I can eat a meal. Um, but I've only made you run out twice mm -hmm. for, for and I stuff. failed both times. Yes! There was one day I wanted a slushie. He came back with a mango smoothie. I don't like mangoes. <laughs> and then there was one day... I came back with two different types of smoothies so she could pick hers. Plus, I went to three places and none of them had slushie machines. So I was just like, what the heck? So I went to McDonald's and got the smoothies. I was like, hey, that's got to work, right? It's better than a slushy, which is just ice and, like, syrup. I but, told him, I was like, get me, like, a red slushy from, like, the marathon station or something, or get me, like, a frozen lemonade. And he came back with a strawberry banana smoothie or a mango smoothie, and I just didn't like either one of them. I and then the other up. day... Yesterday, I asked him to run out and get me some pickles, and he got me like a weird brand of pickles. It was the like... only type of pickles that I could find. Well, you weren't looking in the right aisle. Well, I looked in quite a few aisles, and I was couldn't <laughs> find them, and then I came across some pickles, and I, that, I settled for that. I've never been such a picky eater, ever, in my whole, like, since I've been like a child. I've never been like a really picky eater, but lately, like, it has to be right. It has to be the right brand. It has to be right. In order for me to eat it I don't know I've never been that way before so I'm glad that like when we went out to dinner today for our anniversary that it was it was right it was good like yeah so but yeah anything else you want to say about the first trimester like how has it been for you what's your experience from a man's point of view from the first trimester mm -hmm. I think I pretty much touched on that I just I haven't been like too moody no. Not too bad. No, she hasn't been bad. She cries a little bit more about silly things, but 
I know most of it's because she's tired of feeling bad, and I'm tired of her feeling bad too, but I know we're close. Yeah. Almost to the second trimester, and hopefully things will be looking up. Yeah. What's but. the what's the dumbest thing I've cried over so far? I don't think I've cried anything over anything dumb. Like I like I'll see like a sad video on Facebook and I'll like I'll cry about it, but it's because it's sad, not because yeah. it's stupid. <laughs> but I don't know. But um, or I'll cry like after I'm done puking if I'm just like. If I just feel like just crap, and uh, like I'll just I'll just let it out. Like I'm so tired of feeling crappy. Yeah. And being I'm so tired. I'm so sick and tired of feeling sick and tired. Like I'm just ready for it to be over with. So I'm really I'm starting to see a light at the end of the tunnel. Like I said, I feel great right now, but I had a big dinner, so. Um, That's why I keep telling her how she I just feel needs tomorrow. to eat. Just keep yeah. something in her stomach. Yeah, I I need to go get groceries again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think that's basically our update. Um, I don't want to spend a whole whole lot of time rambling on. So go hit that subscribe button and like this video if you want to see Noah in more videos. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Especially it's our anniversary, so yeah. we gotta. So we which gotta, us. Which Practice is a happy, the happy anniversary. <laughs> I want to do a Q&A video here soon. So if you want for the both of us to do a Q&A video or just me or whatever, um, leave some questions down below or leave questions on my Instagram, whatever. Um, and we can answer those questions in our next video. Okay. See you in the next one. Deuces. Bye.